This, the Radio Master Ranger Transmitter Module, redefines of what a good quality Express LRS transmitter is. And yeah, this is a completely new quality level for the Express LRS. Oh boy, just let me show you how cool the Ranger is. Is. And no, this video is not only about the Ranger, because in this video not only I will show you probably the best Express LRS transmitter module, but I will also show you probably well the next best three things in the world of the Express LRS that happened in this year. Today's video is all about the good quality Express LRS hardware. Uh-huh. So, let me show you what's what. The Radio Master Ranger comes in the pretty nice box and when you open it, you kinda immediately know why this is a good quality item and why I was so hyped in the beginning of this video. Right after taking the Ranger from the box, you know why this is a quality built item. Because unlike almost everything that competition offers, the case for the Ranger is made from the CNC aluminium. Pretty heavy, with a joystick, OLED screen, two buttons and the integrated fan inside. In the bottom we will get XT30 connector, USB-C for upgrading the firmware, additional connector over here I will not cover right now, and on the back only this small thing. And of course the SMA on the other side of the box. You might ask, okay, how am I supposed to connect this thing to my radio? Well, super simple. Together with the Ranger you get two adapters. This one, the bigger one, allows you to install it in basically any standard radio that has the JR Bay. And the second adapter fits nicely in all the other smaller gamepad-like radios. So you just take the Ranger, take the adapter, connect them together by putting the plug into the socket, which is kinda hard, and attach everything securely with three screws that are luckily part of the set. And the Ranger is almost ready and can be installed in any JR Bay equipped radio. Of course, with the antenna. Never, absolutely ever connect anything that is emitting radio signal without the antenna. This is the shortest way to burn the power amplifier inside. Ranger comes with two antennas. One, you get a standard 2.4 GHz dipole, which will give you nice coverage everywhere you will fly, and you will also get this teeny tiny pretty nice Moxon antenna, which is a directional antenna. So if you want to go pretty pretty far, probably the Moxon is the better option for you. So just screw the antenna to the SMA connector and we are done. Now the only thing that is left is to plug the Ranger into your radio. Well, you have to admit that this is kinda biggish transmitter module, but some has pretty nice feature and you are ready to go. Oh yeah, you get some fancy red lights over here, two buttons and the joystick and of course the OLED display that gives you the information about the frequency, about the power and the telemetry rate. Unfortunately, when I'm recording this video, the Ranger is not out yet and the firmware apparently is not ready. Because, as you can see, the OLED works, there is some kind of action sometimes connected to the joystick and the buttons, but I'm not really sure if this should work like this. Because in the standard screen the joystick does nothing, you can move it however you want and nothing happens. When you press any of the buttons once, one more time, nothing happens. Only you get to special options when you press the blue one twice. But then, well, there is no option to change any of the setting using the user interface over here. I assume that the final version will have those issued fix and the firmware in the Ranger will cover all the functions that are offered by the buttons, by the joystick and by the OLED display. Of course, the full configuration can be done with the standard Express LRS Lua script when you can set the mode, the frequency, the telemetry rate, VTX, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything. Because of course, yeah, with the quality product like that you get all the options including the Bluetooth, backpack and the Wi-Fi functionality. And by the way, 
I'm not sure if you saw, there is an accelerometer inside when the radio is in the normal operational position, it shuts down the OLED so the energy is not wasted. Kinda thoughtful of them that they thought about that. And of course, big and heavy with the active cooling ranger has the pretty impressive power of 1 watt. If you really want to go far, 1 watt option is absolutely for you. However, let's be honest, in the most conditions, 100 milliwatts should be absolutely enough. The Ranger module I got came of course with the Express LRS 3 installed, however with version unknown. Like I said, this is still probably the experimental build and when the Ranger will be finally on the market, it will have full support of the standard Express LRS firmware. You have to agree, this is pretty impressive. In the meantime, do me... In the meantime, do me a favor, hit the like button and write in the comments on what is your current or perhaps the future RC link. What do you like about the system that you are using, what you are missing and what is your expectation for the best RC link out there. Thanks, it means a lot and it helps to grow the channel. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there is more. On top of the big and mighty Radio Master Ranger, we have only two small smaller, more traditional Express LRS modules available. The Ranger Micro and the Ranger Nano are just smaller versions of the full Ranger. They do not have aluminum casing, they do not have the joystick, they do not have any buttons and they do not have OLED display. However, they are also equipped with the backpack, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and also can go up to 1 watt of output power. Of course, you get no adapters because the Micro fits only JR Bay and the Nano fits only those smaller radios, but they are considerably cheaper and offer you the same output power and the functionality itself. But let's be honest, this one is just much more bling bling than those. If you want to impress someone, yeah, you will rather definitely impress someone with this over those. But if you don't care about all those extra features, those modules are absolutely fine for you. What's left are the receivers. Let's begin with the RP3, which is an Express LRS 2.4 GHz diversity receiver with the 250 milliwatt output power, so you will get telemetry even if you are far, far, far far away. Bear in mind this is antenna telemetry, not two radio chipsets working in parallel. The great option if you want to go far with the flight controller equipped drone or the airplane. The remaining receivers are the ER5A and the ER5C. They are small PWM equipped Express LRS 2.4 GHz receivers with four PWM outputs, channel 1, to 4 and the fifth channel that can work as the on off switch. They are compatible with the HV servos, they can be powered from up to 8.4 volts which gives us roughly 2S and are the great option if you just want to fly with your airplane without any flight control on it. So you know, the pure fun of flying with your fixed wing without the flight controller messing up with the experience. Pretty nice plethora of fancy Express LRS 2.4 GHz receivers. I'm under great impression of what Radio Master showed in terms of the hardware for the Express LRS system with its series of the Ranger transmitters and those new receivers. With the Ranger series, the Radio Master competition has a lot to learn and improve. Even I, a happy Immersion RC Ghost user, was seriously considering, oh, maybe I should really upgrade to this new hardware from the Radio Master? Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!